You might be thinking that creating a Git server is a huge work, but actually it's not. So let's create minimalist Git HTTP server with only Node.js, 56 lines of TypeScript, and without any library. The first thing you need to know is that Git provides official CGI script to run HTTP server. If you can run Git HTTP backend on your terminal, you already have it installed. It will take an HTTP request as input and execute the associated Git commands. So basically, all the heavy works will be handled by this script. So the only thing we need to do is to run a HTTP server and forward all the requests to this CGI script. To do this, you need to understand that a CGI script works by spawning a process for each HTTP request. The request headers will be passed as environment variables, the request body will be passed as standard input, and then the standard output of the process will represent a HTTP response. Let's start with getting environment variables from the request. First, we will throw an error when the URL is absent, then we will parse the request URL, then we will return the environment variables. Pet info, query string, content type, and request method are standard environment variables used for CGI scripts, and we can easily infer these values from Node.js request object. Other than environment variables inferred from the request, we also want to add ones that configures the repository. Git HTTP export all tells Git that it's okay to serve the repository, and Git project root specifies a directory where all the remote repository lives. So now we have all the environment variables, let's launch the script with spawn function from child process mode. Module. Then we will pipe the HTTP request body to process standard input. Lastly, we will pipe standard output to response object. Basically, we will be looking for an empty line, which is a separator between response header and body. Before we see the separator, we will parse and set the headers. And after we see the separator, we will write the body to response object. Next, we will create a new directory in git project root we specified before and initialize it as bare repository. Run git update server info and set HTTP receive back to true. Now you can run the server and now you can can clone, add, commit, and push your repository to a server that runs with only 800 bytes of JavaScript. Yes, I'm cheating here because the code here is just a CGI runner and we didn't include Node.js and the CGI script. In future video, maybe I'm going to rewrite both the HTTP server and the CGI script using zip, bundling it all into a single binary. In the next video, we will add authentication and branch protection to our server. Like and subscribe for more content. Thank you for watching and see you.